Okay, this is a video of our Overland fridge and battery combo. Just came back from a bike ride. Quite good, especially good because we have a some cold drinks in the fridge. This is an Alpi Cool 35, I believe. I'm gonna put a headlamp on here just to give it a better, a little better light. And this is how you get into the albacore. Veggies, we use these old yogurt containers. They're quite good for seeing everything. But this is almost how oh, you're always going to see your fridge. You're going to see down into the corners there. This is the coldest section back here. A little less cool. As you get higher, it's less cool. So, you know we've eaten a bunch of stuff. So far, it's a two-day trip. We didn't bring a whole ton of stuff, but... It's nice and cool in here. It's currently sitting at, it's at five. I think we keep it at four, four degrees. It's nice and cold. The drinks are cold. We've got it in eco mode, which saves a little bit better, a little more battery. You can see 12.4 volts. And yeah, this is how it's connected to our Eco Flow Delta 2, which is around a 1200 or 1200 amp hour battery, I'm pretty sure. At any rate, we've ran it for about a day. Give me some better specs on it. The way we have it set up, we've got this is our auxiliary from our car. This goes from the car to the battery so it charges the battery as soon as we start the car and start driving around and then when it's off or even when it's on this plug down here that is the output which you can see a little light there that is for the turning that usb output on and you can turn any you know, section of these USB outputs on and off via those buttons on these uh, EcoFlow Delta units. Quite good so far. Been very happy with this battery. Um, and that DC output connects to the back of our fridge. I will show you that in a second here. Say this is and this is our 400 watt solar panel. So you can see this is a Toyota Sequoia. That's it's fairly big, but it fits in there and it doesn't cause a lot of issues as far as it being in our lives. In another video will show you when it's set up, but basically it sets up. We just put it on the hood of our truck, just right from the front, and we put it up to the top, and then we just tie it off to the upper roof rack. And then when we don't use it, we have it here. We're at 84% for being out camping for the last couple of days. We've got a bike pump here. Just leave it sitting on things. We're charging some phones off of here. So we got a couple USB-C cords. We've got some USBs on the front. They got a digital display. So if I press this button, it's going to show us what was on the Delta. So right now you can see... It's at 83%. It's got 99 hours left. I have the digital display set to be off, turn off really quickly. But, you know, 99 hours, 83%. There's nothing pulling from it right now because the fridge isn't running. And here you can see that's the plug-in. That's the for coming from the battery into this is this plug-in right there. And this is how we always have it. We've got a little bit of space behind here we've got some recovery gear and things here that's our camping box and then recently we've been coming out because of fire bands with a propane tank and a uh we've got a kuma fire pit that's nice edmonton company it's flat on the top so you can pack stuff kind of on top of it as long as it's not like insanely heavy but it's generally not the case and yeah this is uh Aside from the uh, matching color scheme going on, which is always top, not, top marks in my books. 
very happy with uh, these two things, EcoFlow, Delta Max, or Delta 2, not the Max, I don't think. And then this is the uh, Alpicool, I believe it's the 35. Both high recommend.